hey guys welcome to carry thoughts in this video i'm going to show you how to use splunk number display app in order to make your dashboard look more attractive and advanced so before we start let us begin by understanding what we want to achieve so right now i want my cpu usage of my laptop so i have in uh, this uh, query as you can see uh, it's a simple query where index is introspection and uh, we are reading the source of resource usage. I am evaluating the CPU usage by adding up the CPU used by the system and CPU used by the user. And uh, finally, let's, okay, let's do this. Latest CPU usage. So for the last hour, it will it will tell me that the latest CPU usage is 26%. And if I go to visualization, I can see there is a single value visualization, which simply gives us the number. We can format it by coloring it, uh, by giving it different ranges and uh, making the box look good. But this is where it ends. We can mostly apply this one as the caption, but nothing else can be done so if we want to make our dashboards more attractive we are going to use a splunk number display application so first let's download it so i will be pasting this link in this uh, description box obviously so you can simply go and download it and install it in your splunk I already have this application, so I will just simply switch it on. So I will simply enable this app and it is done. So now coming over here, I can, I need, so after coming over here and refreshing all the search, I can see there is one more visualization which is number display. I'm going to click over it and I can see that now I have something different. Uh, let's see what all things we have. These are the different types of um, visualizations of single value that I can achieve. It's a gauge, it can be a half gauge by default, three by four, alternate moving and uh, one of my favorite recycle likewise you can have different uh, as it's a pc uh, so you can lose the pc fan and uh, etc so we are going to use um, let's say um, circle okay and or let's say yes circle would be good and I can change the size as per I want, okay? The margin and the color text as we used to do in single value. So it will change color as per required. And over more, we have much more things to add as a title or text or anything. So if you want to add a unit, like for example, percentage and you want to keep it like this, the font can be also changed likewise you can change a number of things with this but there's more to it than only this much uh, let me show you uh, we can also add a spark line so let's go ahead and add a spark line oh so i'm adding a simple spark line of average usage in past 60 minutes and uh, that's it so now I have this spark line, I need to format it. So going over the spark line, it should come in the foreground. The threshold color, uh, the fill color should be darker than the, this one. Likewise, I can change different types of color. I can give them a particular color. Manual. So this is how it will look like. I can also change the it, it, columns. It looks much better, right? Uh, I can change the position. If I want this to be inside it, I can change it to 50% and it will look good. 
the left position should be made to zero the width needs to be a little bit adjusted and i think the height works well so likewise you can have different visualization over here to make your data look good so thank you guys hope you like the video and please press subscribe to so show some support and uh, let me know if anything else you need in splunk uh, for me to do a tutorial thank you guys bye bye